I'm going to share here Google Webmaster Tools. Search analytics. So most people don't know about search analytics. Well, a lot of people don't, um, especially some more aggressive SEOs because they don't ever want to put their sites in GWT. But this is the search. So I'm in Google Webmaster Tools. So if you're not familiar, google.com forward slash webmaster tools forward slash webmasters forward slash tools. Don't worry about any of this stuff on the end. But this is for one of our sites, Didgeridoo Dojo. I'm going to blurt out some of the information because obviously putting private search data out on the web, especially in front of SEOs, can be a bad idea. But um, if you go to search analytics, click these four checkboxes and set this to last the last 90 days, you'll get a clear picture of what is actually happening in the SERP. So you'll see here, um, you'll get the impressions, you'll get the number of clicks, and you'll get the CTR. So this will give you, we use this data in lots of different ways. We use it primarily for keyword research and identifying easy keyword wins. So anything that has a high impression and an average position of, you know, like four or five, then that's probably something that needs a little bit of attention to put the, um, to push it up in the SERP, particularly, um, you know, the other things we look at are CTR, where CTR is low, then, you know, there's things we can do to push the CTR up. You'll see some of these, we've got some really nice CTR. So, you know, 13%, 14%, 36%. So, um, you know, we're doing pretty well in terms of CTR and a lot of these have been CTR optimized. Some of them haven't, um, you know, we haven't worked on this site in quite some time. So it actually probably needs some love looking at this data. Um, and then we can, you know, slice and dice this by pages. So we can look at, you know, which pages are getting the most impressions and clicks. And again, if a page has really low CTR, it probably means that we need to do something like this one here has 10% 10, um, 10 CTR, which is great. This one here is 0.72. So this one definitely needs some love. Same as this one here, 1.02%. So you can see this data is immensely useful. Um, and what we would typically do is export it out. If you scroll down that we can export it out to CSV. We will see this tool console rocket um, because GWT only saves the last, sorry, the last 90 days, um, we'll lose the data quickly. So we use this um, console rocket tool, which is really awesome for playing with the data and recording it long term. But bottom line, there's like 50 different ways to slice and dice this data, but it is almost equivalent to the old keyword data you used to be able to get five or more years ago in Google Analytics. So this is, you know, today's version of it. So immensely powerful, lots of different ways to slice and dice this data, particularly the queries page will give you a lot of keywords or search terms that you're already ranking for. Um, and it will give you a better idea of where those optimization opportunities lie. Especially we talked about, I think in the brand section around brand terms, it'll tell you what brand terms people are searching for, um, you know, and allow you to optimize um, for those, you know, create pages for those terms or optimize towards those target terms. But hugely powerful, awesome data, you know, dig it, you know, dig it out, put it in a spreadsheet, play around with it, um, and you'll see trends or, you know, opportunities there to optimize.